Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for the second half of July, Leo season. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month to my lovely loyal subscribers. Welcome back guys. So, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your intuition, on point, okay? Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Okay, let's see where this is going. And let go of control issues. That allow this situation to unfold naturally. So you could be going through uh, some difficult times and, you know, you could be trying to find a way to fix things quicker than they're meant to be fixed, for example. So when we say let go of control issues, if you... Uh, want somebody to be in a relationship with you quicker or you want a family member to see your side quicker um it that's the control part of it when we're talking about these cards here uh wanting it to happen at our speed rather than letting somebody heal or return at their speed or you know um like i say if it's a family member you know allowing that person to heal to get to the point see things from your perspective to get to forgiveness anything like that allow it to unfold naturally and what is meant to be will be your love life is ascending during this time okay your level of commitment to somebody else are uh, is elevating here so trust what you're feeling Allow others to help you and accept support from others. Ask for it. Um, maybe you've been doing for people so long you don't know how to ask for help, okay? But it might just be that, you know, to spend time with them, to take your mind off something, something as simple as that you could be asking for support from, okay? So let's see what we have for our lovely Pisceans. Okay. We have nine of wands here. Somebody's trying to block out their feelings, how they feel about you. I've seen it, so I'll have to show it and say it. Four of Pentacles. They're holding on, but they're trying to block you out. Uh, they could be overwhelmed with their feelings. It's to do with themselves. The nine is related to the hermit. So the way they're viewing the situation, they're trying to forget, ignore, push away. Um, and it could be why you're trying to control or make them see you for who you are. Um, but I feel that does you know, more blocking than allowing the energy to flow between you. So if we try to force people to see how much they love us or they're wrong or something like that, people don't generally like it, do they? So they end up putting up more defences. So the more you push and push and push, the more something or someone holds on to a situation. It reminds me of the story about the sun and the wind where they have a bet, the sun and the wind, that they could make a child take its coat off so the wind blows and blows and blows and the child holds on tighter and tighter and tighter so the more we try to push somebody into realization the tighter they hold on to their beliefs or their perspective just because they don't want to admit maybe defeat or admit they have feelings for you because it feels uncomfortable for them but the sun just smiles and allows that person to relax and takes off the coat and the sun wins the bet don't know why that just came to my mind but it did so i quickly shared it there um so sometimes the more we try to fix things the more things break right so this is why we've got to let go of trying to make it go the way we think is right because what we should pray for is the greater good of all right and you know it could be hard waiting testing our patience here but we see the prince of cups the minute we can let go and stop adding blockages just trust our feeling trust the process then offer comes in this is person who is ready to make a romantic offer to you the prince of cups so it may have it may have even been they blocked you and kept away from you or something here with this nine of wands and remember it could be even friends and family or work or stuff like that it relates to you how it relates to you don't force it to fit this person uh, now makes a love offer. Um, I feel like this person's head is down because they're, you know, ashamed of their actions here. That the ones are actions, so they're ashamed of their previous actions here. This person, uh, but they do have these feelings towards you. So it's more like 
being able to open your heart and listen rather than your ears and you know allow it to go to your brain and overthink and add logic i think sometimes it's difficult when we have to trust our feelings about things but if anybody can do it pisces can do it right um so this person is making you a love offer here coming in um with regret feel ashamed of what they did um king of cups but they're ready to love you now that's the energy that are in they're evolving to being ready to love right and i've always explained it to people like when i say let go of what it is you want when you're manifesting and they say no but i want that certain thing so they find it difficult to let go of and it adds more blockages in the way if we trust that what's meant to be will be it comes to be quicker we wouldn't want a surgeon to leave you know medical school before they was ready and we should apply that same standard in relationships we shouldn't want to be with somebody until they're ready to love and commit and you know grow together because if we're not growing together we're growing apart so this person has been on this journey while they've blocked you out um and they're evolving to being ready for love it could be a war sign for some uh high priestess they feel that you are somewhat unobtainable to them that you can read their mind or something that's why they felt like the need to block you out um you were feeling things before they felt it for themselves so it's like you love me and before they'd even had a chance to explore it themselves um so with the high priestess here your intuition could have been told that you oh you was cheating on me before they was ready to come clean or whatever to admit it to themselves um but this person now wants to commit your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment here your intuition could have told you long ago this person's coming towards you um but with them blocking you you could have been questioning yourself and your intuition so this is why you're being told trust your feelings with the romantic card there okay your feelings are real and worth exploring so trust it here um the high priestess they had to gain knowledge before they could come forward so it wasn't just them blocking you uh the divine said you know what this person needs to work on themselves you need to work on yourself and you both need to be in a position to love um so the high priestess is like this is like a gate behind her when only when you have that knowledge can you pass and this is what was happening here so now you can get into a relationship with a higher level of commitment and even if somebody comes back from the past and apologizes here regrets their actions um it may be that this is a, a whole different person as well who makes you an offer and you want to be with okay we don't have to go backwards we have free will yeah another person definitely um so the prince of wands here you could have even been getting offers that you're not interested in because you had somebody in your mind um probably as well you didn't feel nothing for these people making you an offer because you had to invest time into yourself so don't worry about you know that people have come and gone in your life here it was all happening how it was meant to happen when when you're healed and ready for love that's when love can come in fully and i, I feel like this will be your last love because it kind of feels like you was tired as well with the nine of wands like i don't want people in and out of my life i want to love somebody and i want to love them forever um and people come love me hurt me uh you know have passion with me uh and then leave me here so i think you got tired of that sort of cycle that you was in and this is what you was healing and working through on your spiritual path at this time say it i've seen it so i'll say it the hermit this is why you went through this soul searching um you know this spiritual quest or path if you like with the hermit there um again very intuitive energy with the hermit um it was your spiritual calling to even be a mentor here five of swords some of you feel like you've missed that but uh there is a conversation that's going to be difficult to have so you might feel like you know it's pointless we talk about this we both get hurt it's a lose lose situation but it's not this conversation needs to be had um it might just be hard to hear things or hard to say things to one another but it needs to be had this is take action uh the prince of wands here so you need to take action and have this conversation 
the difficult part might be waiting for them to come towards you if they're the one that's blocked you <clears throat> six of wands here okay so you will overcome these challenges you will overcome these obstacles this uh time apart separation or time being single on your own was not an obstacle it's a blessing in disguise it was giving you protection while you could heal and love yourself and learn these valuable lessons and the other person here so it's showing you will overcome these spiritual lessons with the six of wands somebody's very attracted to you so it's like um they're happy to see you here um when they make this offer they're full of regret and things to say but they're really happy to see you king of wands so look at all these people um it might even be the friends that are around you but if your friends are maybe blocking out somebody you want to talk to trying to protect you um i think you should you know maybe say okay i'm good i have to have this conversation i know it's difficult and you are just protecting me here so i see you socializing a lot at the end of uh july leo season but i also see somebody in particular who has a lot of regret to the way things went and maybe a difficult conversation to have here um you might these people you might be socializing with people from work and things like that and being celebrated or having some sort of party here um it could be somebody else that you know and you're attending uh three of pentacles yeah at work um but i see you eventually this growing into something with the three of pentacles but we see the engagement card so it does grow into something solid with the three of pentacles expansion here the empress some of you uh could two could become three at this time <laughs> uh somebody could even be having triplets but um this is a time for um multiplying okay so if you're a single person i see you getting into a relationship if you're really focused hard at work in something creative and you've been putting your best foot forward taking all that action you're gonna see a huge financial reward that leads to a life of luxury um if this is somebody from your past returning uh it's a time where something can be created with the empress this give life to something um so a wonderful time to bring things back to life or create life so yeah somebody could be expecting here and like i say maybe even more than one baby because look all these people here these soulmates entering into your life uh financial and material changes that's the five of pentacles so you might feel left out in the cold at first here but remember this is a blessing in disguise because this is a fence of protection this is not rejection this is a fence of protection yeah i know you was thought i was gonna say rejection is god's protection <laughs> yeah the triumph yeah this is the chariot um so you will be successful in all that you achieve during this time uh which is wonderful it's saying take action uh have those difficult conversations and move forward to, uh building together with people you will be rewarded and find success chariot um six of wands five of pentacles there so financial changes here the light the sun we've had that in nearly all the readings um but it's just a lot of clarity a lot of motivating energy to get us moving in the right direction and the chariot to get us on track with destiny uh patience and planning seven of pentacles so all that planning and all that waiting that you've done you'll now have some clarity to why you waited why you felt so strong and attached to this person it'll all start to make sense hindsight's always 2020 good luck guys